Yo, what up you guys, Bacardi here, and today I'm gonna check out a new group for me. Uh, and this is ONF, or On and Off, and their latest EP, uh, Go Live. Now, I've been meaning to get to this, like, for a while now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually heard one of their, um, songs, like, a couple months ago, and it was, uh, what was it called again? We Must Love, yeah. I remember randomly just checking that out, and I kind of liked it, so, yeah. Uh, when I was, like, looking them up right now, I remember, and I was like, oh, yeah, that was that group, so. Went back, listened to the song again, still like it. Uh, and this EP, so, yeah, this is their latest release. Um, like I said, I don't know the group, so don't know any of the members or anything. Uh, I was looking them up, um... And apparently one of their members left in August. So, yeah. And some interesting stuff about them. They have two leaders and they're divided into two subunits. But I'm guessing, like, this is them all together, right? So, yeah. Um, I'm pretty much going to do it how I usually do it with new groups. I'm going to get to know the members through their music and listen to the music, you know, and figure out, like, oh, okay, rapper, or singer, you know. Yeah, like that. Um, don't know what to expect, as usual, just want to go in blind, so yeah. So, the first song is the title track, Why? Let's get into that. Okay, so no subs, but that's okay, let's just get into this. Where is this filmed? what's going on in this music video but the quality and the budget in this look at this time for person Oh. 
Holy shit, man. What? Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to listen to the song by itself uh, because this music video... Wow, okay, it wasn't even a music video. This was something else. Um, Yeah, okay. Is, is there a storyline going on with them? Or is this just like something... Uh, they were like, let's not even make a music video. Let's make a trailer for a whole nother universe or something. Yeah, because this, this was like some epic video game trailer thing going on this this looked like it was about to be the fourth kingdom hearts or something i was just like what is happening in this uh yeah um visually the music video is just stunning uh yeah it's so captivating it's interesting um visuals on point like they have the joker mask from the dark knight and they're like going to steal something and it's like they're teleporting and then uh, the world is like inverting and there's just so much going on there that I have no clue what's going on. But it looks amazing. Um, the song itself, like I said, I'm going to have to listen to it just by itself because I do want to listen to it just by itself without without all these visuals like uh, taking up my attention. Um, there was a lot in there just on first listen. Um, some horns, it was almost jazzy in a way at certain parts of it. Um, that part, it like, I don't know where it was. It's like when that guy's riding the motorcycle. Yeah, it's the guy with the really deep voice, and it's around like uh, a minute 40, and it's when the song's like tempo really kicks up. Uh, yeah. This song just goes through like kind of motions. Let's just listen to uh, the audio version only for now, because I would do want to just listen to the audio one. Okay, so now I have lyrics, and then I can see like who's uh, doing what part, so this will be good. Alright, let's get into this one more time. Love the way it starts off. little effects like that. This part. Like his voice. He's the one with the There's like cinematic stuff in the actual song. Okay, so yeah, even with the lyric video, that was like still it's just like there's a lot to that song. Um now that I watched it with the lyrics, um and you know there could be translation errors and whatnot, but um with the title like why and some of these lyrics i'm just gonna look at them you know while i try to sum up my thoughts um you know it's almost like the song is talking about um i don't, don't want to say longing maybe or regret um 
yeah, well, those are two words that come to mind. Uh, longing, regret, um, yearning, maybe. But there's also, uh, as far as like the instrumental of the song, it like changes. Like the beginning is kind of sad and somber, but then it gets like hyped in the middle there. Then that middle part of the chorus is like playful, kind of. Uh, yeah. The song goes like in a lot of different directions, man. Uh, I can't honestly sum it up in just two listens. There's like... I have to listen to this more and more to like really uh, give like my full thoughts on it. I can say right now I like the song, uh, but still I'm just like thinking about it in my head and I want to listen to it again um, because it's a lot to take in. Like I said, even there's parts in the song itself that sound cinematic. Uh, yeah, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. So. I'm going to put a pause on this for now. I like the song. It's one that I'm definitely going to listen to again. Uh, probably on repeat to like try and, uh, you know, fully um, culminate my thoughts on it. The music video itself was fantastic, though. That was just, like, amazing, you know? Like, where'd they get the budget for this, man? Jesus. Okay, but I have to keep moving on. Um, next song is Asteroid. This guy's voice too. Reminded me of someone right there. I would say his name, but it's high praise, so I'll hold off on it. Yeah, this part of the instrumental I really like. Yeah, man. Uh, I like pretty much everything about that song. Uh, chorus was a little, mm, but yeah, for the most part, everything was really good. This was the first song that um, I really got to hear all the vocalists start to shine. Um, uh, the one who stood out the most, probably my favorite so far, uh, Just? J-Us? However you say it. Um, J-U-S. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna call him Just. Um, yeah. I mentioned it. He sounded in a little part right there like another K-pop artist. Um, and I didn't want to mention his name because comparing them is like high praise, right? And I've just started listening to them. But there was a little part in there where I was like, ooh, ooh 
ooh, that guy sounds really good. And he does. He's probably my favorite vocalist so far. But I've only heard two songs, so you know. Um, but yeah, really like his voice. And then Hyojin. Uh, yeah, love the way he started off the song. Uh, he's probably number two as far as favorite vocalist so far. Um, but yeah, like I said, I like I liked everything about that song. Minus the cho uh, chorus a little bit. Uh, and the instrumental was really good too. Uh, that stood out a lot in this one. This one was definitely more uh, easy to handle compared to why. Uh, yeah, like that song. Like that song. Next is All Day. Guessing he's a lead vocalist. Oh, I wanted his verse to be longer. I wanted the part longer. There you go. Yeah, that lead up to this part worked a lot better. Okay, so this song, there's parts of it that I like, and then there's parts where I'm just like, mm, duh. yeah. Um, I like how it started off. Um, was that Hyojin again? Yeah. And Itoin? I don't know how to say the name. Itoin? Uh, yeah. However you say it. Um, I like the beginning. I like MK. Um, I like his vocals on here. Um, it's really kind of the pre-chorus. That I'm not a fan of. Uh, the part where it's like, um, I'll show you that I'm overflowing content in the morning and at night. That part, um, yeah, that part, I'm just like, yeah. The na 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 hey part, it's okay, but I actually liked it way more um, near the end when they do it. After like Wyatt's verse. Yeah, I think it worked a lot better uh, at the end there. I think they could have just kept that part only at the end. Uh, could have done something else for a chorus, maybe. Speaking of Wyatt, um, probably my favorite person on this song. Uh, like I said, I wished his like verses were longer on here because I was really liking his parts. He's he has like that voice that's like deep, but um, deep but like soothing kind of when it, when he raps. But I, this is really only the first song where. I really got to hear him, right? Um, but yeah, like I said, my favorite person on this song. So yeah, definitely want to hear more stuff from him. Um, but yeah, like I said, still parts of the song I like, parts of the song I'm just like, mm. I will say this though, this these set of pictures are probably the coolest pictures I've seen of them so far. Okay, next up is Moscow, Moscow. This starting off interesting, this instrumental. 
Okay, I'm liking how this is starting off. This is kind of reminding me of something. Okay, that is my favorite song on the EP. Yeah, yeah. Well, so far, there's still one more to go, but yeah. I loved everything about that song. I loved the instrumental. I loved everyone's vocals. I loved the whole song structure. I loved the lyrics. Um, like I was saying, it reminded me of something. Parts of the song almost sounded like it could have been a James Bond intro track. You know, the tracks that play in every Bond movie where it's like the title credits come up uh, in the beginning. Yeah, uh, certain parts of the song kind of gave me that like uh, picture uh, where this would be playing and, you know, those like cool images would be happening. Yeah, Cause, you know, from Russia with love and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought of in my head. Really sexy song, man. Um, yeah. Was not expecting this at all, uh, considering all the stuff that I heard before this. Um, yeah, that was some uh, that was some sexy stuff. I'm, damn. Okay, consider me hella impressed. Okay, last song is Twinkle Twinkle. This is like the cutesy fun song. It's instrumental. They really just did that? Whoa. 
This is so different from everything we heard so far. Again. I feel like I am not the target demographic for this song. Okay, I didn't dislike the song. Um, there were parts in there that I liked. Uh, like the way it started off, I was like, oh, okay, this is like the fun, kind of cutesy song. Uh, and then the chorus dropped. Um, just like I said, the song is not meant for someone like me, right? Um, I'm sure there will be people who like it, but me, it's a skip, obviously. Um, I did like Wyatt's part, though. Uh, and also, uh, Hyojin, again, really liked his voice. Uh... But yeah, just like I said, you know, um, don't know why they would make, well, maybe they wanted a Christmas song. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> maybe they'll drop a music video like around December. Um, yeah, but that uh, is one that I'm not going to go back to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the EP as a whole and some of my favorite songs, Moscow, Moscow, easily my favorite song on it. Um, Asteroid, maybe number two. And then why after that? All Day and Twinkle Twinkle were probably the songs that I won't be going back to. Um, but yeah. Um, first impressions of the group. Um, I like their vocalist. I like their vocalist. I like Hyojin. I like um, Just, as I call them. I don't know how to say dude's name, but e Toyn, the one with the E in front. Yeah, I like his voice too. I love Wyatt. Um... Whenever he does pop up in the song, uh, it's really good. I like his parts pretty much in every song he was in. Um, even you, uh, for the parts that I did notice him. Yeah, he was good too. It feels like all the members are talented uh, in their roles. So yeah, I'm guessing they're a group that still is like, you know, under the radar. And uh, they probably just need that one song to like help elevate them. Uh, why might be that song. Um, but also, I can clearly tell when I listen to something like Moscow, Moscow, and Asteroid. And just, especially the vocalist, I think. They all have a lot of potential. Um, yeah. And they just, like, uh, need that one song to, like, break out. I don't know. Um, like I said, I haven't seen any choreo or anything. So I don't know how good of a dancer they are or anything like that. Um, which I should check out though. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'd say, yeah, they all have a lot of potential. They just need that one song to, uh, you know, help elevate them, uh, a lot more. Um, but personally for me, this EP was okay. It was all right. Um, I had one song in there that I really loved though. Um, but yeah, I will uh, keep an eye out on these guys and, you know, their future projects. I might even go back and listen to some of their older work. Uh, but yeah, I'd say standout members, Hyojin and Just and Etoin, Wyatt. Yeah, those four, for sure. Uh, and yeah, pretty good EP, pretty good EP. But uh, they can definitely use more work, maybe uh, just experiment more with their uh, sound. All right, so that'll do it for that reaction, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, peace, love, have a blessed day. See you next time.